Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. More nasty shit. I hope she finds a nice T-bone to what keep the, the doggy busy. Ugh, gross. Damn, there has to be food for you somewhere. What is going on here? Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals? Holy shit. This is so creepy. Deja vu. There's dust on the dust now. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. I'd love to do a whole big rig photo series. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? A tornado? I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, 
Hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. That would be cool to be a trucker for a while. Always on the road. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? And even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Hey. Peachy. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? I took a Blackwell class on the history of truckers. I always wanted to drive a rig on the road. Finally, a Blackwell student with brains. Next time I get a local job, I'll let you ride along. Take care. Hey. Pete. Actually. How the hell? My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those... you know who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Embarrassing? I'm gonna get trolled hard. Look at that. It's so sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. What an amazing shot. So ominous. I hate seeing old women on the street like that. <sighs> nice world. Uh, Hi, how are you? I remember you. I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? Well, if I had a bottle, cheers. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody. And everything. I think Joyce's husband David has something to do with all this. He's an uptight ass. But I think he just wants something to do. Like make life hell for me and his family? 
Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. <laughs> I remember. I heard of. I think it's all connected to Rachel Amber's disappearance. A lot of things in Arcadia Bay are connected to Rachel. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit finally got kicked out of his daddy's school. He also drugged the girl who tried to jump. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. I feel like I can trust... Too late. I'm just gonna say this. Could be. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. of Arcadia Bay have been questioning what has been going on with this crazy weather. We had an eclipse yesterday, a snowstorm two days ago, which, as most of you know, is not common this time of year. It's unprecedented, to be honest with you. Uh, the last time that we had a snowstorm of this caliber was over 100 years ago. All of us are questioning what is happening in Arcadia Bay. Please feel free to call in and let me know what your experience has been. What you think this might be is this global warming what is causing all of this crazy weather. Yeah. <laughs> I could chug this beer, or dump it on Frank. Beer is gross, so... Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. 
What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Thanks, Af. I'm glad. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. Makes me sick thinking about it. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, you don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Rachel? Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Your sugar daddy will always protect you, and threaten me. 
You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. We'll chat later, Max. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. We'll chat later, Max. Thanks, I've... I'm glad. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. There she is. Thanks. Uh Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell, with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Rachel? I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Fish. Thank. Up. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's eager to. That's true. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. 
You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. <coughs> The magic keys to Frank's RV kingdom. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! He brought. Now back to Chloe. Max? Nice Scooby snack, Chloe. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you dare me to drive it like you dared me to kiss you? Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You scope the area while I- I doubt go. Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. 
This place is nasty. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. It must take him days to download the porn. Yuck. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Must take him days to download porn. Yuck. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. How can somebody live like this? Is Frank going to deal online now? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Ooh, Frank's stash. No more secrets. Presto, Chloe's gun. Should I give it back to her? I have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you, I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure, I'm on it. I might regret this, but I can't let Frank hurt someone. 